My name's Martin Mellon Cooper. Um, my history is I had you know, 10 years in New South Wales government as a researcher on freshwater fish. I'm a freshwater fish ecologist. And then uh, the last 17 years I've uh, been consulting as a scientist and you know, primarily as a fishway designer. So uh, applying much of my research to um, projects to get migratory fish over dams and weirs. So I, I work with a, a range of stakeholders. I work with scientists. I work with the catchment management authorities. I work with engineers. And, and, I, and I see where those connections you know, need to take place. The, the sort of NFS strategy has really started to bring those connections and, uh, into place and I think we need to build on that more. The, the, these have been separate camps for, for a long time. Uh, the engineers and scientists have been in separate camps, often the, uh, the, the CMAs and fisheries authorities and water managers have been in different camps. So they're starting to, to, to come together because it's a common resource uh, and I think it's just a deep appreciation of that. So uh, the other deep obvious appreciation is these rivers across jurisdictional. They're running between states and the NFS has just put that in the spotlight and it's there to stay. You know, that, that realisation that we are not separate camps, that is very obvious that fish are moving across boundaries all the time, is there to stay. The way this was set up with this, you know, this big sort of education emphasis, this big stakeholder engagement emphasis, and then science and research, these three tiers, that was very clever. I just want to see that, that those three tiers continue in collaboration. So Northern Hemisphere had these fishways for salmon and uh, we used that, those designs for, for many decades. We used them until about uh, the mid-1980s and, uh, and a number of us were involved in research at that time that developed uh, design criteria that native fish could use. For, for native fish we had large fish, we had small fish moving upstream and downstream. We had this diverse range of life histories and all this, all this mobility, all these fish moving over different scales and different times. So we developed different, uh, different design criteria based on swimming speeds and uh, abilities of native fish and, and that became you know, very, very successful and we've just built on that and built on that again and again. What's interesting is that uh, my, the colleagues that I know in the, in the US and in Europe have now looked look towards the designs we've had because they realise it's not just salmon moving upstream. They also have a whole range of species moving upstream and downstream and they're trying to do what we're doing here. It's, 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 it's impressive. I'm yeah, very proud to be part of it. A lot of the findings we've had from the Murray River We've now used those in uh, fishways on the coast and fishways in Queensland. We have been using some of those findings in the present in fishways in Laos, uh, on tributaries of the Mekong. Uh, some of those findings also went to uh, Bangladesh and uh, they've established some fishways there. So, you know, it's had an incredible ripple effect, you know, that I'm, I'm proud to be one small component of that. I mean, there are so many scientists involved that when I talk about this program, uh, that are involved you know, in experimentation, in uh, monitoring and assessment of these fishways and um, you know we've just come in leaps and bounds in the last decade. World class river restoration. The, the other really big legacy for me out of the NFS strategy, I, I, I saw scientists, and I was one in the States, I saw scientists pre-NFS and if you like during the NFS and I saw not only collaboration, but I saw collaboration raise the bar, raise the standard of science. And for me, that was a massive legacy. So I'm, I'm very lucky to be on a very steering committees and be involved with some very good scientists. And, and I've seen them collaboratively raise their bar and learn from each other. And that has been amazing. So what I would love to see is that collaboration continue because the science is better. When the science is better, the management's better. So that's what I want to see.